Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rose here, bringing you guys week one of our brand new draft league. Uh, it's the uh, PHF, Pokemon Heroes Federation. Uh, we are facing Joltiade, coach of the Jinxed Jolts. A little bit of alliteration there for you guys. If you guys missed our draft analysis, I'm going to go over our team really fast. We got Naganadel, with, which cannot use Nasty Plot. We have Mega Gallade, Rotom Wash, Mamoswine, P2, Moltres, Whimsicott. Kofagrigus, Fortress, Zorark, and Emolga. Um, and their team consists of Mega Latios, which does not have restrictions. So it can be D Dance, it can be Calm Mind, it can be whatever the hell it wants to be. Um, Melmetal, Mandibuzz, Volcarona, Terrakion, Seismitoad, Crobat, Rotom Moe, Clefairy, and Porygon Regular. Uh, or the regular base Porygon. A um, couple things of note Naganadel is really, really good here. Um, I love its matchup. I think if we can weaken his team down a little bit. Naganadel can just kind of click dual stab on most things, not on anything not named Melmetal, realistically. Once we can weaken down his team a little bit, uh, Naganadel just kind of wins. Same thing with uh, Gallade. Gallade can kind of just clean up this game, um, especially if we can get some things to fall our way. I'm going to go ahead and go over our team real fast. We have Liam's Bane, the Whimsicott, uh, with the Focus Sash, Prankster, U-Turn, Giga Drain, Moonblast, and Stun Spore. Enough speed to outspeed the Mega Latios. Uh, and then Stun Spore just really ruins his team with a lot of stuff because it allows us to paralyze a lot of his physical threats or just any threats in general, um, which is really nice for us. The only thing is, obviously, uh, he does have Clefairy for uh, Heal Bell, but I do not expect Clefairy to show up. I think with what we have on our team, I think it just doesn't make sense to bring it. Um, Naganadel is coming up, Burple. Uh, Expert Belt this week, Dragon Pulse, Sludge Wave, Flamethrower, and U-Turn. Enough speed for Mega Latios, Max Special Attack, Resting HP, nothing crazy. Um, like I said, this thing can kind of just clean up this game if we can put it in its correct position. Next up, we got Pontiac, the Moltres with the Heavy Duty Boots. U-Turn, um, Hurricane, Fire Blast, and Roost, especially defensive to help take on Volcarona, because it pretty much beats Volcarona. Um, Next up, we got Maytag, the Rotom Wash, physically defensive, Volt Switch, Pain Split, Defog, and Will-O-Wisp with the leftovers. This is heavily to take on, like, Crobat and Terrakion, um, mostly. As you see here, it does help a lot. Melmetal is also kind of something that this thing deals with really, really well. Um, I'm kind of considering putting Toxic on this instead, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, next up, we got Thomas, our Mega Gallade, uh, Max Speed, Max Attack, Jolly Nature to Speed type with the Latios. Um, CC, Close Combat, Knockoff, and Sword Stance. If we can get a Sword Stance up, which it's going to be very hard to get a Sword Stance up, but if we can, this thing, 2 KOs everything on this team. Everything. I don't need Rock Slide, I don't need any of that. I just need my Dual Stab and Knockoff. That's really it. Um, yeah, if we can get a plus 2 up, then I can kind of just click Dual Stab on most things on this team, uh, which is very, very nice. Um, and last but not least, we have Osiris the Cofagrigus, uh, with the leftovers, Willow, Hex, Pain Split and Haze, physically defensive. This is to kind of check the Mega Latios a little bit. If it's going to be a um, D-Dance variant, then this thing really kind of puts it into check. Um, regardless, it's going to be really nice if we can get if we can get it will uh, with something and then keep it hazed and not worry about it, any boost. If it's Combine or Dragon Dance, doesn't matter. This is going to really, really, really be helpful. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make a quick cut. Um... And we're gonna get right into the battle for you guys. So see you in a second. All right, guys, we are back. Um, very straightforward to what I thought. No Mandibuzz, which is interesting. Um, no Rotomo either, which is good for us. And no Melmetal, um, which means that uh, Rotom is a little bit worse. Um, I'm fully expecting that Porygon to be Trick Room because that's usually what it ends up being if it's brought. Um, Nine times out of ten, it's it's that. So, uh, I'm honestly just kind of wanting to lead off with Whimsicott. If we get Brave, if he leads Crobat and we get Brave Birded, that's fine because we can stun spore it. And since he has no uh, status removal on this team, we're fine. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do here. Um, and he is gonna lead with Crobat. That's fine. I'm just gonna stun spore this thing right on turn one. Um, I don't think I have to think about this like at all. Um, Crobat. If it's offensive, yeah, Brave Bird is going to obliterate us. That's fine. I'm just going to go ahead. Stun Spore it. Hopefully we get a, a full para. Super Fang does pop off. Okay. I think that's fine. Um, 
Honestly, I'm kind of just wanting to go into... I almost... I wanted to bring... I was really close on bringing um, Solar Beam Moltres, just because that would help with Seismitoad. Um, but I think, honestly, we're fine here. Um, I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to U-turn out into Kofag. And he's going to U-turn out as well. That's fine. It is Infiltrator, so we know that. Um, Terrakion does come in. I'm going to just... He does bring the taunt. That's actually a really good bring on his part. Um, that's a problem for us then. Um, I'm just going to go into Rotom Wash. That's a problem. Um, that's a problem. Okay. Um... Something's going to have to be sacked here so I can get Whimsicott back in. Um, it's not the Choice Bandit set. I'll just do it as the Choice Bandit set. Uh, it's not that. It's at plus two. Uh, we have a chance of living close combat um, if he is jolly. It's in our favor. Um, if it's... Yeah, if it's adamant, then we're kind of fucked. So, Stone Edge, we do live. We need to land this. We do. We land it. It's Lumberry. Fuck. That's really bad. Um, am I okay losing this? I think so. Yeah, I'm okay losing this. Because now we can kind of just bring in Gallade and get a Sword Stance off. Because nothing... So, um, we can honestly just go into Gallade here. <sighs> yeah, Close Combat would obliterate this thing. Uh, Psycho Cut would also do a lot. Um, how much is Whimsicott doing as well? I'm curious. Moon Giga Drain to it KOs. So does that. Um, I need Whimsicott because of Seismitoad. So I'm gonna go into Gallade here. Um. And I'm pretty sure if I'm at plus two, I think we calc it to where Cycle Cut kills offensive. Um, yeah, Volcarona should just drop to this thing. It does a lot. So, we're just going to do it. No, we, we don't get the crit. He lands Hurricane. I think that's fine, actually. So, we are going to get rid of Volcarona. Delayed picks up a kill. Awesome. Um... Rotom dying kind of sucks, but it was necessary, I think. Um, and I'm just going to click knockoff here. Hopefully we get the speed tie. We do, and Latios is gone. And I think that actually just gives us the game. Um, if we can kill Seismitoad here. Um, defensive Stealth Rock. Yeah, close combat's in our favor. Yep. I think that's it. I think that's game. I genuinely think that's just game. Yep, delayed. I I knew that if I could do it, if I could do it, this game was over. If I could get a sword stance up, delayed just wins, and delayed wins six or uh, not a six zero, a five zero. But I will gladly take that. Delayed gets six kills. Amazing performance. I'm so happy with that. Um, GG. Hope it, hope it wasn't a speed tie. Um. Yeah, hope it wasn't a speed tie. That would kind of suck for him. Um, but I am very, very, very happy with that um, end result. That is amazing for us. Um, thank you to Thomas as well. He I originally, instead of Psycho Cut, I had Rock Slide on. Um, but I was talking to him for a minute, and uh, he was telling me that I don't... I, we looked at it. I didn't really need Rock Slide because plus two Psycho Cut, two hit KO, the things that Rock Slide would hurt anyways. Um... So it ended up not really needing to happen. But that that's going to do it for us. We're going to take a week one dub. 5-0. Glade putting in work. Um, I'm very happy with it. It was a very, very good bring for SD um, Lumberry to Rakion. I did like that. Uh, I do. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take that week one dub. Uh, GG's to Jolt. Uh, Jolt Jolteade again. Um, but yeah, guys. We take a week one dub. We're going to see you guys next week in week two. And I'll see you guys next time. Check out my stuff in the description. I'll be right there for you.
Peace out.